Hi folks, I hope you can hear me. Welcome back and thanks for joining. So today we're going to use silicone to coat this roof. Now as you can see in the back, I've already put one coat on it and I'm going to apply uh, another area here. got me on this was um, looking to thin uh, silicone for this roof. I started searching online for uh, naphtha and that sort of thing and uh, Google sort of helped me out and uh, offered this as a suggestion and uh, this is exactly what I uh, what I'm looking for here. This is this product right here is also 100% silicone. Now the thinner that they use is not naphtha. It doesn't have that smell. I'm not an expert on solvents. It doesn't say anything on the package, but I think it may be something like acetone or MEK, but don't quote me on it. This is what it looks like from inside the bucket. This is a section that dried on the wall of the bucket. Very stretchy. Now what got me on this project here was I've been coating this roof for years with the black tar and it only lasts for a couple of years. And because of, um, I assume, global warming, last year was uh, the end of this roof. The, um, the coating cracked all over the place uh, with all the rain. Silicone will remain stretchy and will not crack for decades. So the wind is blowing and it's trying to blow the laptop off of my uh, little pedestal there. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera running for as long as the battery holds out and um, I'll edit this in shorter segments but I want you to see how easy this product is to apply now there are many types companies out there that sell a similar product so you don't this is not the only one so I just wanted to show you that it's 100% silicone.
<clears throat> right, it have a high quality paint and um, you can apply it with a roller. This is a half inch snap.
Alrighty then. So there we have it. Um, how to uh, coat your roof with thin silicone. Now, um, I have uh, played with that stuff a little bit. And uh, yeah, you could actually use it to pour. Uh, it's about $200 for the uh, five gallon bucket. So um, the cost effectiveness is there. So, and um, I thought about including a, a couple of scanning shots, but what are you gonna see? You're gonna see a white surface. So I'm gonna close it out here and uh, get back to work. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like, please subscribe. Bye-bye now.